Hello Chattanooga, here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, two fugitives are on the run after a Tennessee Bureau of Investigation agent was nearly run over. Authorities say the TBI agent was making a traffic stop when Howard Montgomery Calloway and April Michelle Gamble reportedly tried to run him over. The two fled from the vehicle about a mile and a half down the road after they were stopped on Harrison Pike. A North Georgia man has been charged with bigamy after his first wife found out about the man's second spouse on Facebook. Dennis and Kelly White got married in Catoosa County in 2009, so she was surprised when she found a picture of her husband with a woman 21 years younger, and both were holding a marriage license. Now, Kelly White filed for divorce three months ago, but her husband's new marriage happened 20 days before the split was official. Now, Dennis White is in the Catoosa County Jail without either wife. The Chattanooga Airport has fired the company that ran its restaurant and gift shop. Airport officials say the move came after issues with quality and numerous complaints. The airport will have to pay Airhost close to $500,000 to terminate its current contract. Airhost operated at the terminal since 2001. Now the airport has hired a new operator, Tailwind Concessions, which will start October 1st and introduce new items to the airport menu. A man arrested in Chattanooga's first reported case of sex trafficking will be going to prison for more than two years. 31-year-old Kari Matthew Troutman accepted responsibility for transporting a 21-year-old woman from Maryland to Tennessee for prostitution. While the woman was in Chattanooga, she told Troutman she wanted to return home to see her children. That's when she says he beat her and held her captive until she was able to escape and use a borrowed cell phone to call 911. Troutman originally pleaded not guilty, but later changed his mind. Representative Scott Desjardins is making headlines after he told an 11-year-old girl that her father should be deported. The girl spoke out at a town hall meeting in Murfreesboro last week to ask what she could do so her undocumented dad could stay with her. Here's what he said. I have a dad and he's undocumented, and what can I do so he can stay with me? Joanna, what can you do? Uh, really, Joanna, thank you, thank you for being here and uh, thank you for coming forward and speaking. This is a big, intimidating crowd, and and I uh, appreciate you coming forward and asking your question. But the answer still kind of remains the same: that that we have laws and we need to follow those laws, and you know that that's where we're at. As you can see, Desjardins' remarks prompted strong applause from the crowd. The progressive populist reports that the girl's father is currently facing deportation proceedings, and now his daughter is seeing a child psychologist to deal with the stress. If you've complained about the roads in Chattanooga, you're not alone. The city reportedly spends less than one-third of the money Public Works says is needed to keep the roads in good condition. As a result, the average condition of city roads over the past two years has declined and some of our most heavily traveled roads are now rated as poor or failing. One resident compared driving here to driving in Baghdad, Iraq. But how much money should the city devote to road work? Mayor Andy Burks proposed putting $1.7 million toward paving, but that's the same amount budgeted last year. And councilmen say that's not enough. A public work study says the city needs to spend up to $5 million a year on paving. Now councilmen say they've met with Burke's staff and are discussing increasing the road's budget by up to a million dollars. In business news, Global Green Lighting has officially marked the opening of its new plant in Chattanooga. Governor Bill Haslam visited for the opening and says he'll talk with the Department of Transportation about getting the state to buy the company's low energy lighting systems. And things are definitely looking bright for GGL. The company's chief executive says plans are to eventually hire up to 250 people in Chattanooga. Erlanger Health System is selling two large office buildings, one downtown and another in Saudi Daisy. The hospital hopes to sell its Chattanooga Lifestyle Center, which houses rehabilitation programs, a large swimming complex, and doctor's offices. Erlanger has owned that building for more than 15 years. Officials haven't said where the programs would be moved. The hospital also hopes to find a buyer for its former Saudi Daisy Medical Building, which has been vacant for several months now. 
A new $8.5 million religious training center that's opening this week in Chattanooga has a foundation built on the Bible, quite literally. Builders of the headquarters of the International Congress of Churches and Ministers planted a thousand Bibles in the walls, ceilings, and sidewalks of the new building. The nonprofit offers churches and ministers training, including classes on fasting and prayer, and a quote, millionaire wealth seminar. Sure, the new facility may be inside a former Circuit City store on Lee Highway, but it's quite an elegant place. The lobby includes a wooden table appointed from Italy and an onyx floor imported from Israel, and the biggest sanctuary will offer stadium seating. The founder of ICCM says the center is debt-free, and the lavish interior is meant to help people feel successful. Finally, some good news for local education. 14 Hamilton County schools have been honored this year for high achievement. Only six county schools were recognized as reward schools last year, which meant they placed in the top 5% for test scores. The new list is one Orchard Knob Elementary is happy to be on. Previous test scores put it among the bottom 5% of schools. You can see the full list of reward schools at timesfreepress.com. Turning to weather, there's a 50% chance of rain today and a high near 82 degrees. The low tonight will be around 70. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.